Okay, uh, here's the tutorial in making collages. If you take a look at this brochure, I did this brochure, and if you take a look here, uh, those are col collage of of photographs. Now, how would we do that in Corel? So basically, these are just shapes, and we're using Power Clip to do this. Okay. So now, now to make the tutorials easier, what I did, I put the resources here. So these are the digital pictures that we're going to use for this exercise. So well, first of all, you have to establish a shape first. So in this shape, I'm going to start doing it by. Okay, we're not really doing exactly the same, but similar. Okay, so I'm gonna make that that, and then I'm going to say, make it like this. Let's make it this way. Okay, so you click the first one object, and then the second one, and then C for center and E for center uh, vertically. And I'll just, there you go. And I'll just weld it. So what I've done is, I'll do that again. So if you have two objects, you select those two objects and you go to this part here and you click on weld. So it's going to make a silhouette of the object. Now then I can do shapes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to make a shape from here. Okay, when you're doing the shape using the the zero tool, okay, you hold Control and Shift. So that would be a straight line like that. Okay. okay. I'll move that over here. And then I'll do the same. And it's also best in doing this exercise, you click on snap to objects. So that you would know if you're in the edge of the object. So for example, here I'm going to click on here. Okay. And hold shift and control to make a 90 degree line. Okay. So again, you have to move it over the line, okay? And then I'm going to do this part here. Click, hold Shift Control, and then click again. Okay, okay. I'll just make bring that down. Okay, and then I'll click here and perpendicular. Okay. Now the tool that I'm going to use here is the Smart Fill. Okay, that's the smart fill tool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this part, okay, and then see so you can also change the fill of your colors. Okay, you choose that color and then click on that one. Say I want this color and then click on inside because it gets the internal area or internal points. Okay, so if you take a look at the object now here. Those are actually shapes now. Oh, we forgot something. So I'll click here and shift control and click. And then I'll go back to my smart field, change that color. Okay. Now I got one, two, three, four, five, six shapes now with separate shapes. So I'll just delete all the lines that I created. So I delete that line, delete this line, delete this one, delete this one. Perfect. Okay. Basically, we already established those shapes. So the only thing we have to do is, we, okay, we go back to our our digital photos here, and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to insert it over to to the uh, to the objects here. But first of all, I want you to make a crossing window. Select all the objects, and what we're going to do is we're going to make the outline white. So you go to your outline pen and we choose white and let's try two points and then click OK. Okay. So we'll just compare. Okay. So that's fine. So we're ready now to do the power clip. Okay. So first one. So click on the photograph. Go to, okay, go to effects and click on power clip place inside the container so which container I'm gonna use this one okay so it disappears right because we didn't overlap the picture to the object but if you go to effects and go to power clip 
and then edit contents then you can see this is our okay this is our object and this is our picture so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it to where you want to to have it okay so see those blue line there so that's the object and then you click finish if you're done there you go okay so next object this one okay so again you can also overlap it like this okay move that to front so arrange order to front of page okay so you go to effects power clip place inside a container so which one is your container so this is your container okay and then when you click here you go to effects go to power clip and edit contents and then you can just you know edit your contents by doing that and then if you're done with that okay that's the object there click on finish editing objects very simple okay now let's go to the other stuff okay let's just delete that okay now I'll move this to front okay so arrange order to front of page okay I'll go to my effects go to power clip place inside the container which is my container this one okay and if I want to edit that go to effects power clip edit contents okay then I'll go back to my picture here I can just move it you can also enlarge it or make it smaller if you want to and I click finish editing okay so we have three more objects okay so this one same thing move to front order to front okay so click on the picture effects power clip place in the container that's my container okay so I go to effects power clip edit contents and then I'll just center that image okay if I'm happy just click OK okay and then we'll just continue here I'll just move this closer here okay so I'll do this part first okay so I put that to front order to front okay I go effects power clip place inside the container this is my container here and then I go back to my effects power clip edit contents I'll just center that there okay if I'm happy click on finish editing objects and my last one would be this so arrange order to front of page I'll go effects power clip place inside a container this is my container and I go effects power clip edit contents and click finish oh so effects again I'll just edit that thing just move it over this side and there you go so now I have a collage of my pictures okay so if you just duplicate this one just duplicate this move it over here and I'll just center that and that's it so that's a really easy way to collage your photographs very cool